Welcome to the Connected Wi-Fi Tutorials. My name is Keith Gann, and today I'll be walking you through how to set and change your bands uh, for connection to the tower. This will apply to the newer firmware models uh, that have this built into them. Uh, if you do not see this in your router and do not have access to it, please contact the support team and we'll help you do it. So first off, you'll want to go to your preferred browser. Once you go to your preferred browser, in the top, you'll put in the IP address for the router. Um, on the bottom of your router, you should see a sticker. It should give you the IP address of that unit. It will either be 192.168.1.1, or in this case, it's 192.168.16.1. Once you type in that in your address bar, you'll go to the live network status. From here, you'll select router login. You'll be brought to the login screen. On this login screen, you'll, it'll look one of two ways. It'll look this way. Um, or there's another option uh, for the older units that will have a, a colorful black background and the login will be to the left a little bit. Um, those units are capable of this. Um, there are some of our older units that look like this that are not capable of this, so you'll have to log in to double check. So what you'll do is you'll log in to the unit and you should pull up the main login page. So from here, um, you'll navigate to uh, the location where this is. Uh, which you'll either navigate from the top or from the left hand side depending on which which theme that is so but you will go to modem and then you will go to miscellaneous once you select miscellaneous you should see this page and if you scroll down a little bit if you don't see it past the AT command terminal you should see cellular bands and this will tell you uh, what bands your modem is capable of locking onto, and it will also tell you your carrier aggregation. So, what carrier aggregation is, is with our uh, base model units, as of right now, um, they are capable of what we call two times carrier aggregation, which means that it can connect to two bands at once. So, in my area, uh, band 2 and band 4 and band 5 are, are, are popular bands. So in this case, this modem would allow me to connect to, let's say, band 2 and band 4 or band 2 and band 5. So it, it'll give you your combinations here. So some bands can connect to themselves twice. It just, it just all depends on, on your connection. Uh, and your tower. Your tower is what you know sets your carrier aggregation. So if your tower does not accept carrier aggregation, unfortunately this will not benefit you. But if you would like to change the bands, then you can go in here and you can select or deselect as needed. By default, this particular modem does not support band 41 or band 17. So those will automatically not be checked. So all the other bands that are checked will be supported by this. So a good good way to, or a good reason to go in and adjust these bands is, for instance, uh, Verizon is, is a big one. Um, so Verizon um, likes band 13. That's one of their main bands. So on here, if you have band 13 and band 4 on a tower and... Your band 13 is quicker, but it keeps jumping back and forth between the two, and it you're unfortunately you don't have carrier aggregation to band those two together, so you can connect to both of them. Then when you connect to band four, your connection may be slower. When you connect to band 13, your connection may be faster, and then you may find yourself getting slow internet connection, you know, at certain parts of the day, or randomly your internet will get slow. But if you log in and check more than likely to be connected to the slower band. 
So in that instance, you could come in here, you could deselect this lower band, um, and then um, you could lock modem to the selected bands here. So that is, that is your modem lock settings there. Now down here we have a cool feature, and what it'll do is it'll actually scan your area and find the bands that your modem can connect to. So if I select scan, it should start the cell scanner here. And then if we give it a little bit, it should scan the towers uh, around my area and it should give us a reading of the bands that are available. So here we have band two and we have a decibel reading of 84, which the lower the better. Um, then we have another band two with a decibel of 95. And you see we have another 95, 95, and then we have a 29 with 88. So we're currently connected to at least two of these bands here. Uh, so we would have the B2 plus B2 connection. Um, so that is what that would look like there. And this is good for if you're not quite sure, you know, what bands are in your area or what signal strength your bands are on. You can scan the area and show if you're connected to it and what your what your reading is. So like I said, the lower the reading, the better. Now for those of you that have um, the silver router um, and do not see this under your selection, uh, we can update your router so that you can see all this. What we can do is if you contact us, we can send over um, the instructions on how to do it. And then we can also send a link to where you can get uh, the files that are needed to do this. Uh, it's very simple to do. Um, takes maybe 10 minutes to do the full thing. Um, and moving forward, we are going to start, you know, updating these units uh, as we move over to the to the new private networks that we have. So even if you don't contact us to do this, more than likely, you know, we'll contact you when we get ready to move you over, and we can update your your firmware, and that will give you all of these uh, abilities here. So uh, I appreciate your your time today and joining in on this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to our support team and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.